The seven star terror raid event for Chestnut is now back in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details as well as the best builds for this brand new terror raid in game. So Chestnut is returning for its second phase in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It will be running from the 16th of June until the 19th over this weekend before it takes off from Scarlet and Violet altogether. It will be, of course, level 100. It will have the mightiest mark and it will have that terror typing of a rock. It will have the moves Earthquake, Hammer Arms, Stone Edge, Wood Hammer with the additional moves Iron Defense, Bulk Up and Curse. You're only going to be able to catch one of these per save file, but you are going to be able to just go in and repeat this raid for the high cost items that you do get as rewards for beating the chestnut and this is a really great one to do because it is an easy seven star raid compared to some of the previous ones that we've had so taking advantage of it for these high cost items as well as the level up candies and rarer items like the ability patches is going to be really valuable for you to take part in this coming weekend now to access this event in your game you're going to need to come to your menu screen come to your poker portal down to mystery gifts and get poker portal news this will connect you to the internet once the event has gone live and once you've done this it will update all your terror raid event dens in Paldea and you'll have access to this seven star raid event in your game then you're going to just come onto your map located it will look like a six star terror raid but it will have the rock terror typing just mark it on your map and then head over to where it is now we have covered a couple of videos already going through some really solid builds that are available for you to run through this chestnut with super easy in your game now they cover the Appleton and the Lorantis in my opinion the best two builds that you can go into this with but we have another build to feature today that is going to make it really easy for you to do this with and that is going to be with Bronzong and a big shout out to one of our viewers T Merton who replied to one of our previous solo builds with a similar Bronzong build and give me the inspiration for this build that we'll be featuring today this Bronzong has got the steel and psychic typing it has got the steel terror typing that is pretty important on this one has got the item the shell bell and then the move set of calm mind iron defense metal sound and flash cannon with the ability levitate that's pretty important for this one has got an ev spread of 252 special attack and then 252 defense with a modest nature so the basic premise of this move set is going to be going into the chest node you are going to see it set up an iron defense turn one that is what you're going to do on turn one yourself set up an iron defense and then that gives you a bit more stability a bit more staying power for the rest of the raid then after this make sure you get three metal sounds off this will take the chest note special defense down to minus six and because we know the chestnut doesn't reset any stats on its side of the field, that minus six is going to stay with it for the remainder of the battle. Now just fire off a few flash cannons from this point until it sets its shield up and then removes the stat changes to your side of the field. After this, set up two calm mines and then start firing off your flash cannons until you can terrestrialize. And at this point, you're going to be able to do really big damage. Now the chestnut, after you do hit it with the initial flash cannon, and might reset your stats on your side of the field you've got a couple of options here you can go for another calm mind or two if you would like to or you can just persist with hitting those flash cannons like i do here and you should be able to take it down pretty quickly once that shield is broke and it makes such easy work of this chestnut you can see even here with the raid timer that we've got left this bronzong does a phenomenal job at being able to just run through this chestnut very quickly in your games so as i say it has got that ev spread that we've talked about it will be linked in the description if you want to take a closer look at the build but the big important things here are that calm mind the iron defense metal sound flash canning move set the levitate ability on there and the shell bell just to give you some recovery when you are doing that big damage to the chestnut the next build that we've got we featured in our previous videos but again i'll quickly go over it for this one it is going to be lorantis a great choice going into this raid going to have that grass terror typing the item that it's going to have is the shell bell with the moveset of Synthesis, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, and Leaf Storm, and an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 Special Attack. You can go for an EV spread of 252 Defense, 252 Special Attack if you prefer, but the HP investment works just fine uh, with a modest nature as well. The big important thing here for the Lorantis is that Contra ability, which reverses any stat drops, giving you stat boosts instead of the drops. The idea of the moveset is to just spam 
Leaf Storm. Make sure though, if you are using this to PP max the Leaf Storm, you're gonna need all eight to really beat this thing pretty easily in your games. If you do run out of it though, you can fall back on setting up the Sunny Day and then relying on the Solar Beam. The Synthesis there is a fallback if you need a turn to recover some health and that plays nicely with the Sunny Day as well. But primarily, all you're gonna really need is the Leaf Storm going into this one. Every time you use it, it's gonna give you a plus two to your special attack. So you're gonna be able to boost your special attack up pretty quickly. And at the same time, you're kind of ticking down the turns before where you can terrestrialize and then do even bigger damage but you're going to be able to take down this chestnut easily with Lorantis. and then my favorite out of all three is going to be the appleton and it is that grass and dragon typing it's going to have the terror typing of grass expert belt is the item on this build and a move set of sunny day apple acid growth and giga drain with the ripen ability the ability honestly doesn't matter for this raid at all ev spread of 252 special attack 252 defense with a modest nature basic premise of this set is going to be those apple acids off as soon as possible like i've said before the chestnut doesn't remove its stat drops on its side of the field so once it's at minus six you can really start to take advantage of that you want to then fire off your giga drains when you can and then once the stat drops have been removed from your side of the field once that shields up from the chestnut set the sunny day up and then start growthing you only need three growths under the sun to get to plus six special attack and then start firing those giga drains off you'll be restoring your health while you're doing huge damage and honestly appleton makes this raid super Super, super easy. So they are the three builds that we've got to feature today. The Bronzong is my new favorite one, but between these three, you're gonna have a lot of fun. You can cycle between them if you are farming the items from this chestnut, but they're gonna make it very easy for you to complete this coming weekend. And a great raid event as well for those item drops in particular, because it's just the sheer speed that you can get through this raid event in total. But with this weekend, of course, it does come the end of the chestnut raid event. And on Sunday evening, we should get the announcement of the next seven star raid event that will be happening the coming Friday in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is very exciting. I am pegging all my hopes on it being Delphox. I really do think it will be Delphox, and I think it will be a fairy type Delphox that we'll get for the next seven star raid. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, there are a lot of rumors about it being Rillaboom as well, but I think Rillaboom will be the following one after the Delphox, but we'll wait and see. But I'd love to hear what you think will be the next seven star raid event, but I do believe believe it will be that Del Fox that will link in with the DLCs and these new terraforms that we will see in the teal mask later this year but again let me know in the comment section I look forward to reading through all of them thank you so much for tuning in to today's video do drop a like if you found today's video useful let me know what builds you've been using and do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content thank you for tuning in once again friends take care of yourselves have a great weekend and I will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye